Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to run the SysPrep tool or Microsoft System Protection or otherwise known as System Preparation tool. So this basically is a built-in utility in Windows that will allow the Windows operating system to be tested for the established installation environment. So if you're going to be using it to duplicate a Windows image across many different computers, this is probably the tool you're going to be running for that. So it largely has to do with the Windows image as a whole and it has the ability to customize it as well. So without getting too technical about it, I'm just going to show you guys how to get it up and running. So pretty straightforward process on that front and we're just going to start by opening up the start menu. Left click on the start button one time. Type in File Explorer. Best match, you come back with File Explorer here. Left click on it. On the left side, you want to left click on this PC. You want to go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on. There should be a little Windows icon above the hard disk, so you should know where Windows is installed on. Double click on that drive. Double click on the Windows folder. Scroll down to System32. Please note if you don't see any of these folders, you might just have to go in the View tab. Left click on Options on the right side. And then underneath the View tab, you might have to Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, and then left click on Apply, and OK. So now that we are here, so we've done Local Disk, Windows, System32. Now we're going to go down to SysPrep, so S-Y-S Prep. You also just type it in when you're selecting over the folders, and it should take you right to the folder here. So double click on it. Should be an application in here that says SysPrep. You want to right click on it and then left click on Run as Administrator. You want to check mark inside the box that says Generalize and then left click on OK. And once you run it, it should walk you through region and language, basically setting up the license terms and whatnot. So pretty straightforward process from there. And as always, I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.